All right, first off, welcome back to more Final Fantasy 16. Hey, all supporting this series so far means a lot to me. I think that this is one of my favorite games of the year. And I got to say that it's pretty cool that PS5, I'll actually show you this feature. I didn't know that they had this, but it shows your game progress. Main missions when in the game. 15 hours played, which doesn't seem like accurate. Let's check God of War. I'm just curious. 100 54 hours? Since when? I guess I'll play it more than I thought. But anyways, love you all. Uh, if you want more of this game each day, just keep it up. Let's go ahead and get this. Should be right where we left off. Usually the saves are very... Oh, that's right. We're going back to the hideaway. All right. Here we go. World map. Let's see. And here we go. We're at the halfway point, essentially. Now, where's Gav? I hear there's trouble. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So? You remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Orther. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, and nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> All right, Otto's counter is now open. Not sure why I announced it like that. <laughs> All proper. All right, new facilities. 
We get the hunt board also. Yeah. Patrons whisper. If it's dealing with side stuff, I may not do a lot of it right now. We got more cutscenes. What are we waiting for indeed? Somebody told me that Final Fantasy 15 actually outsold this game early on. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but... Hold on, let me... This is just like the music thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not trying to... <laughs> Let's keep my channel the way it is, shall we? I don't need somebody kicking in my front door, all right? All see if right. I can craft anything at the forge. Let's see. What'd you need? What'd you want? All right, nothing really major popped up. Uh, reinforce anything? Nope. Anything else? I think we're probably fine. I mean, we already checked everything before we left. I do want to check one thing. I'm not going to do this more than this one time, but I do want to check... If, in fact, that cutscene pushed us over 49%. I just I ha have to see. I'm just curious. Okay, it did not. I was thinking, I was like, hopefully that wasn't like the halfway. Because it kind of felt like, hey, here's an intermission type thing. All right, Journey to Hawk's Cry Cliff. And there it is. Very nice. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. All right, bloodlines. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Porter's Older. We visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. <laughs> Like I was kind of still having dialogue all, all calmly, you know? <laughs> what did I just pick up? Oh, Ash or whatever. Every time I go a day or two without playing this game and then I come back to it, I'm just amazed at how smooth the combat is. I know I talk about it a lot, but it is a lot of fun. It really is. Leveled up off of that, really. I didn't realize I was that close. How convenient. I wasn't really going out of my way to fight enemies either. I just feel like I kind of want to give Forspoken another chance and try to finish it eventually. Even if I don't, like, do it right now, just in the future, maybe. How did I miss the entire thing? I feel like some of these attacks are not necessary at all. So well. There we go. 30 XP for doing nothing at all there. That's actually wild.
All right, make for Amber. Here we go. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There's barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jiggler? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they, Chest? Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a Speak with the other villager. Okay, let's see what we got. Empire. One they more, hold on. It's back down here, okay. Did we talk to... There's a merchant, but that doesn't make any sense. No, I ain't got much, but what's mine is yours. For a price. At least he said, I don't have much. Because you really don't, buddy. The roads now. You all have the same inventory. It's kind of wild. Here we go. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields. Just now. You seen them, didn't you? At least I think they was the Black Shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? Well, what do you think? Amber's the arse end of nowhere. And they thought we might be harboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned them in and become a Black Shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Speak with the locals. Okay. So this is different from what we just did. Two more left to join the garrison this very morn. Okay. <laughs> okay, it gives me like a quick second to... I guess get it right. Here we go. It's like you don't get it? Alright, here you go. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceroy's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. 
We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. All right, make for the port. Okay. Hold on, how far away is this? Hey, it's not too far. Okay. No way to fast this travel around to it. Mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. This game has been very chill to play. Every time I record it, I'm just taken back by, like, not really the combat, but just, like, it's just fun, you know, for such a, like, a serious story and everything. Ever since the tree, the that does so much damage. Hello? What do you think is waking you? The Mother Crystal's collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. I wonder what the next ability set we're going to get is. Oh, speaking of which, let me check my my points. Gear and icons. Let's see. Yeah, abilities. How much do I got? 16, 36. Okay, now I can get this one now. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. How much does this one cost? 23? He just throws it. Judgment Bolt. I think that's actually the name of the summon... Yeah, I think that's the same one that I remember. Okay. It was something Judgment, I believe. Yeah, I want to get this. Because I feel like this is just always missing. And I kind of rely on this. I feel like this set of abilities is all about stun. Whereas this is more about damage. Although, well, the two things I have equipped are about even. So, <laughs> alright. Let's go ahead and get this one. Go and equip it as well. Let's see. I'm not even really a big fan of this one, but it does a lot of the stun damage or whatever it's technically called. All right. Aerial Blast. Now we got two of those. Then the next one I want to get is this one down here because it just looks insane. Really? How you doing? That is so sick. I can't even see. <laughs> it lasts a long time. What in the world? Maybe I won't use it because I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't see anything. And I was struggling. My goodness. Yeah, I felt like... Uh, <laughs> it's like the entire screen was just like covered up. I was like, what's going on? And I was in a corner, which made it even worse. Really can't thank you all enough for joining me each day. I've been uploading this uh, just because... Oh, I got to get the enemies first, I'm assuming. That does so much. I think if I go for that main ability for that, I may actually keep the secondary one. I like I like Thunderstorm more than I like this one. This one just kind of just, it's quick, but it seems like it goes way pretty fast. It doesn't have a nice AoE like the other ones. Nice little gathering of enemies here. How y'all doing? More of my mother's men. Let me just go ahead and use this. I thought to get them together, but whatever. Collateral flames. Yeah. 
All right, we are almost there. Wait a minute, no, we're not. I, think I gotta go around. Wait a minute. Maybe we cut through something, cause that's all the way down there. Oh wait. Well, that also works. Wait, what? Maybe I back up this time and kind of let him. Yeah, let me just stay back here. That is way better than the other thing that spins up. I guess I could also throw magic at him. Yeah, that is really nice. Okay. I couldn't see anything originally because I was standing in the middle of it. <laughs> Which is pretty wild. Blood, Clive. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield of Rosaria. I'm to use one to break now. Well, we got it. What I'm casting cure, really? We missed that. <laughs> there we go. I need to go after the healer. Hold on. This is getting out of hand. The healers never have a lot of health anyway, so it's all good. Love how he kicks them back up. That was funny. Did he get both? There we go. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. They await you in Ordeal. Guardians of the Flame. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. All right, it's right up here. I'm assuming this might be a potion. Nope, always three sharp things. <laughs> Never a different amount. Okay, there we go. Find something, boy.
this was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. We got the obelisk back there. Now we got... Hold on, where are we going at? Oh, all the way down here. Okay. We're approaching Buick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosaleth. I kind of wonder if there's like an end game activity for this game. Some Final Fantasies have it. Some don't really have a lot after you finish the game besides like side stuff. But I'm just really enjoying the story itself. I, I kind of got to be sad once it's over. What is this? In honor of the 250th anniversary of the founding. Okay. They also do the same thing? Yeah, they do. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Too bad we can't ride the Chuckabos. I feel like that would make things a lot easier as far as travel. Like, this doesn't feel like it needs to be on foot, you know? But it is what it is. Quiet Sands. We're gonna fight some creatures. I can feel it. They're running for it. What in the world? I feel like if I chase them, that's like a trap. Like a giant crab's gonna pop up when I get to the beach area. <laughs> I'm all good. Alright, the Silken Strand. There's so much going on in this game. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. How y'all doing? Too far away. I like how Jill was kind of like squared up with him. <laughs> Funny. There we go. 120? Oh my goodness. Every time. It's, I mean, it's always three. It never is anything else. Ooh, they're down there. I was like, let's go ahead and fight. Took up a lot of XP, so I will take that. Thank you very much. Oh, we got five that time. Nice. 45 XP. I feel like the gill drop is pretty low. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Alright, quest destination nearby. Right up here. Big cutscene, here we go. Have mercy. Dogs, they are. You can't ignore us forever. Let's end or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. Oh, enough, Fuck off. I'm 
the chinless bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stars. I'll cut you down where you stand. Just try it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built, so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. All right, black light burns. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. I actually might keep that since I'm actually doing everything manually now. It never fails. I feel like the jump button in this game is kind of non-existent. You know what I mean? The Lazarus District. This is nothing like I remember it. How quickly a crown can lose its luster. It's got to be over here to the left, right? Oh, what is this? Still silk, okay. Nothing there, all right. Every time I play this game, I'm in like the best mood because it it's something about it. It's just like a, a very chill. It's like I'm watching a movie almost sometimes. I'm all right, here we go, cutscene. You did something for five minutes. Here's another cutscene. Here we go. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. like a tornado first. Imagine. I mean, this might collect them all. Let's see. And now they're all up there. That is one. And, and I'm getting, look at my limit break meter. Oh my goodness. I'm not even sure how long this lasts, but that was insane. You're talking about a very powerful ability. My goodness. Imagine putting that on a boss, you know? And you just kind of hide away from some... I mean, that's... That's a lot. Enemies bested. I like that. All I did was mash, like, one button. And I was chilling. We got, I got 40,000 gil now. Nice. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. 
So wait. <laughs> we can speak inside. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us, though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an Empire. But... We've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye. The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother? But it doesn't make sense, even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but she wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord, but in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So wait, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So, Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. All right, speak with Wade. Here we go. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. 
But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Alright, throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. Alright. Uh... Behind the hideaway. Okay. Speed will wade. There we go. Confront the Black Shield's main host. Uh, I think... Yeah, we're going this way. Very nice. The go with you. The R2 How seems a little unnecessary. I don't know. Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Wait, can you indefinitely hold this? What if you dash with it? Still holding it? Hey, nice! I probably, I just realized I probably could have fast traveled back over here somewhere. Well, actually, no, it says, well, no, it says travel, but it has a, it's crossed out, so I'm not sure. I feel like you can, but it is what it is. We chilling. Come along now. There they are. On your command, my lord. All right, quest destination nearby. Here we go. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! <laughs> you presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields. Then come! Die along with your flame! For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. Try this out again really quick, shall we? Swords, we swear. This is actually, this combo might be insane. So if they're all together. If they're all together, I could do the tornado like that. Then switch over and do the uh, flames of rebirth. That ain't good. I kind of wonder what's next for Final Fantasy. Do you think they'll remake, like... Well, they remade 7, and it was amazing. I don't know if they'll do 8 like that. I'm not sure how popular 8 is amongst the, uh... Audience for this game. I loved it, personally, but... Uh-oh, here we go. Big damage, big damage. Combo there. There we go. Should be enough. Doesn't even do that much damage. A noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point. 
that this land is in dire need of cleansing. I got partially nervous right there because I think that might be the moment I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talk about their PS5 like overheats or something. It's kind of odd. I don't know if that was the exact moment or not, but it's like one of the few things I've seen about this game that I haven't even mentioned because it hasn't really affected me yet, but okay. That is big time. Okay. I wonder, is this even worth it? I'm not going to see anything here. But it's constant damage. That mixed with everything else. And the limit break. I mean, you're talking about some serious damage. One and then two. Wait, what? I got hit by that still. That should be enough. There we go. Enemy slain. Let's get it. Two ten. Nice. That is a lot of items. My goodness. Okay. I don't see any more. Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. All right, quest complete. We got a lot of XP from that too, nice. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. 
It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. All right, burnt blade. Right. I should wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need. I know. Go on now, my lord. Accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're impostors here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue! You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. <laughs> Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. the infectious flax wench e even in death must thou plague me still very well I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more bravo uncle you're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> oh, you always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. Never did let me play Sir Crandall. So I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. See that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. 
Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Alright, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. But until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? On your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. Become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? 
I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. And there's such a lot going on. It's kind of setting up the second half of the game, and I really like that. Okay, return to the hideaway. Here we go. Here be monsters. Who knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom? But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Hold on, is Here Be Monsters a play on the Here Be Dragons thing? Maybe I'm getting it wrong. Uh, you know what? Let's speak with Vivian first. Hold on. I still can't believe how strong the, uh, that wind ability is. <laughs> it's insane. Back again, Lord Rosfield. I'm touched that you should find me such good company. <sighs> it is not your company but your counsel that I seek on this occasion. Ah, <sighs> ever the charmer. What will it be today, then? The Iron Kingdom. I need to know what to expect. You'll soon be setting sail for Drake's breath, then, I take it. The mother crystal that rises from the boiling sea. There was a time when a true-blooded Rosarian had only to brave the waves to visit it. But then the iron blood made their move. As you know, the Iron Kingdom rules over the islands to the west of Storm. Or rather, its church does. But this is not the pragmatic approach to state religion employed by the Holy Empire to manipulate the masses. No. The Iron Kingdom is the literal embodiment of the crystalline orthodoxy. And so, if one is to understand it, one must start there. As the name implies, the orthodoxy holds the Mother Crystal sacred, and they do not take kindly to heathens plundering the objects of their worship for the means to fill wash tubs and light lamps with frivolous feats of magic. Indeed, the faithful consider ether a sinful thing, a poison, no less. And to them, a dominant is an instrument of evil, albeit one they have proven only too happy to turn against their enemies. Some 80 years ago, in Northern Storm, Drake's eye collapsed. Soon after, in pursuit of Aether, and with the Blight at their backs, the Northern Territories descended upon the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. And when the Shields of the Flame marched north to meet them, the Iron Kingdom spied an opportunity. A few short days later, the Crusaders landed on the island of Mount Justanus, home of Drake's breath, and plucked it from the Duchy's grasp. Rosaria tried to reclaim it, of course, but to no avail. I doubt more than a handful of Duchy men have set foot on its shores in your lifetime. Nor are they like to again, under the Empire's stewardship. Meaning the Iron Blood will keep their island. And with it, the foothold they need to march on mainland soil when next they spy an opportunity.
The Mother Crystal is both the object of the Iron Blood's worship and their gateway to the continent, making Drustinus the holiest of holy grounds, from which the Orthodox Crusade shall one day sail forth to claim the remaining Mother Crystals, or die trying. My father and my grandfather both traded blows with the Iron Blood for control of Drek's breath. Had things unfolded differently at Phoenix Gate, we would have sent our entire fleet against them. But instead, they sent their fleet against Rosaria. Sacked the capital, killed the men, and captured the women, including Jill. I'd say you'd be forgiven for wanting a little revenge, Clive. My only aim is to destroy the Mother Crystal. Then, thank you all the same. Not much else to do here. Let's see if Jill's ready. All right, go speak with Jill. Let's get it. I did look it up. So the here be dragons is an actual thing about like unexplored territory. But every time I hear that phrase, <laughs> I think about Billy Bob Thornton in Fargo. It's like season one when that cop pulls him over. It's probably a scene of it on YouTube somewhere, but just go look it up. It's pretty cool. You ready? I think so. Jill, when you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, were you? No. I spoke of Imran, the leader of the Crystalline Orthodox, the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. I'm going to kill him. It's what I need to do to put the past behind me. What I need... to move forward. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. All right, we got a brand new journey ahead of us. All right, make the journey. I wonder if this is going to say anything about... Well, let's just go ahead and travel there and see what happens. Useful trick. Freezing and throwing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? The Masters made me do it. When the Crusaders took to the seas. To keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> I'm fine. No, you're not. This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath.
Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency. Allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. All right, I'm going to stop here for now. Uh, thank you all for watching. It's a pretty long video already, but I wanted to kind of take a I quick break. I Hold on. Here it would be to reclaim it. It used to belong to Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the Ironblood's clutches for far too long. As was I. For 13 years, this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. But yeah, I love you all, best audience ever. I will catch you probably tomorrow. So, all right, take it easy. Peace.